In this video, I am going to show you how to import data into MySQL using the MySQL Workbench Table Data Import Wizard. First, we download and extract sample data. For this, I open Firefox. I enter here the movies data set cattle. So there we go. Now to download, we need to sign in. So here we see there's a number of files, CSV files, with data on movies and ratings for movies. And we can download this file by clicking here. If you have a decent internet connection, then this goes quickly. So let's open the file. So what you see here, there's one large file and we are going to try to import a small file because the table import wizard is really slow and it's only suitable for um, a small data set. Let's check the number of lines per file. That's the second step. We open terminal and use the command WC for word count. WC minus L for lines and then all files ending CSV. Okay, we see here link small has only 10,000 lines, the small one, and ratings has 26 million lines. Okay, so we start with a small import. The next step we open. MySQL Workbench and we connect to the server. Now, if you have connected to the server, we create a new schema called the Movies Database, small. So we can add a new schema here, create schema. We call this movies database small apply. Apply. Great. So now if you click refresh here, we see the new database right here. By double clicking, we make this new schema active. There are no tables. So let's create a new table by importing a CSV file. I right click on this schema and I choose table data import wizard. Here you can choose the file path. Drag and drop is always a good idea. So let's start by importing the small CSV file here. I click open. Now the great thing about this import wizard is that it automatically creates a new table. And it also infers the columns and the data types of the table automatically. Okay, we have three columns, movie ID, IMDB ID and TMDB ID. Now by clicking next and next again, I can create the table and also at the same time import data automatically into this table. 
However, for 10,000 lines, this takes rather long. So the table import wizard is comfortable, but not uh, really suitable for big data imports. So we have imported the file. Now we check the new table and the imported data. So now I refresh the schema again and I see here a new table exists. The columns have been created. And if I select rows, I see the data is here. So that's how to import data using the MySQL Workbench table data import wizard.